Hi there, this is gonna be a general love reading for the sign of Leo. Hi Leos, this is gonna be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, as well as the cross watcher of the Leo. This is for your first part of March. <laughs> Why did I say that? March must be relevant, that's weird, it just came right off the tongue. This is for your first part of October readings, but March must be relevant somehow, some way. You have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment, Leos. What do you need to release and let go of? Some of you, it's about forgiving yourself. Some of you are still holding on to something that it's like the ship has sailed. It's like the, the cycle is over. And whatever this is that you're still holding on to, it's preventing this new stuff from coming in. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Higher vibration. Staying positive allows us to be in a higher vibration and then we can attract in high vibe things. It literally says flirt. So some of you, it's about being playful and flirty. It says extending your lighthearted energy to others, being fun, not being so serious, right? Going with the flow. Some of you, this is what you need to do because why? It's going to shift your energy and everything is energy. Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment. Queen of Swords. Emotional Detachment. Page of Pentacles. Younger, younger Air. Excuse me. I mean, yes, Air because of Queen of Swords. But a younger Earth sign. And then here we have Nine of Pentacles. Very earthy. Grounded. Self-made. Stable. Secure. But emotionally detached with the Queen of Swords. Someone here is getting everything they've always wanted, monetary-wise, business-wise, all this stuff. They're very brave and courageous in that aspect, but the thing about it is, is that's all they're doing now. They're leaving no room for anything else. And so it's sort of like this avoidance of love and emotions. Someone here is carrying the weight of something, 10 of wands, right? They are, there's a heavy burden. Justice, which is Libra. Karma. Someone here's karmic lesson is to release and let go. Then that's, they're still holding on to a karmic thing. Their hands are still full. Strength and the Four of Cups. So strength here is obviously Leo, right? But it's about having the strength to receive. And this one, if they refuse, they refuse to receive. This is about receiving something, having the strength to be open, having the strength to allow it to come in. Eight of Wands is communication, travel, movement, a shift. It feels like It's movement. It's a shift in energy. It's like it's like things changing. You meeting people. You getting new opportunities. Temperance, Sagittarius. Temperance is balance. It's patience. It's divine timing. It's just right. There's a sense of patience here. Oh, look at that. The wounded warrior. Nine of Wands. Someone wasn't so patient. Queen of Pentacles. Again, someone is extremely stable with their coins or finances. And it's the other stuff that they're avoiding. Someone's avoiding feeling, right? It's the emotions, feeling. Ten of Pentacles. Abundance. Again, it's financial. Someone here has extreme stability and they're searching for the same thing in all areas of their life, but it feels like they've been afraid to venture out. 
That's also a committed offer. It could also be a huge offer in business or some kind of career bonus or something, right? Money coming in that you don't see, but it's a lot of it. The coffin, death, forgotten, discouraged, defeated, ending, dull breakup. Someone here went through a huge breakup. Something ended. You also have the gentle giant, which means someone literally could be like a gentle giant. They're really big, big presence. They're, they're very wise, they're supportive, they're trustworthy. They have, there's telepathy between the two of you. There's wit. They're very gentle though. They're very big and gentle. Kind of easygoing, you know? That's how someone's energy is. Big, gentle giant. Or their energy is big and gentle even if they're like physically small. Ball and, and chain. See, I told you, it's just hanging on to this karmic. It talks about being trapped, heaviness, addictions, codependent, emotional baggage, unhappily married. You see that? It's like still holding on to that. That's what that 10 of wands was. And that's that whole forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. The raccoon here feels always like an over-analytical energy. Someone who is looking at the nitty-gritty details, over-analyzing it. Almost being a negative Nancy and a Debbie Downer by killing the vibe and the magic by being super logical. Sometimes there's no logic in magic. Or love. And there's strength again. Leo. Someone who's really determined. Someone who is very, very determined. They're not going to take no for an answer. The tower. I came in like a wrecking ball. Someone comes in like a wrecking ball. They plow right through. There's no defense here. You can't defend yourself against this. This is what it is. It's that kind of a vibe. You can try all you want. You can't. You can't defend yourself. It's, it's going to come in like a wrecking ball. You have the main female community. Non-stop. It keeps... And toil and labor. It came out earlier today too. Toil and labor could definitely be someone who's hardworking or this is at work, right? The community feels like our soul tribe, right? We're attracting them in. They're showing up. We're just like, oh my God. Like you're meeting your people. You know what I'm saying? And the main female is a divine feminine. I came in like a wrecking ball. Abundance and communicate clearly. We had that earlier, communicate clearly. Kind of communicate it now with Mercury and freaking shadow period. Um, there's stuff that needs to be said and talked about, shared. It's like the avoidance of connection feels really big and then the abundance here see i told you there's no lack of abundance but it feels like somebody here is sort of there's like a brick wall when it comes to love and emotions but then it's all this other stuff right here that's all like abundance and flowing and it can't be that way it cannot be like that it has to be everything all right let's get into your extended if you want to purchase that please click on the description box below and it would be in your october extended readings um, I want to thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. Please follow me on Instagram, xi underscore missy underscore xi. And I will see you in the extended. Love you.